salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of Rank and File. I'm your host, Mike King. Today I want to talk about SEO projections. Now, if you're in this space and you've been in this space for a while, you know that SEO projections are difficult. They're difficult because you can't really believe in them. But the reality of it is that your boss still wants them, so you're still going to have to do them, right? And everyone wants to get a sense of like, what are you going to expect from this SEO effort? So you have to have a methodology for discovering this. I personally believe that projections based on A-B tests tend to be much better than those that come out the way that I'm going to describe to you. But sometimes you just don't have the capability of doing an A-B test. And even if you do, those are still not perfectly accurate anyway. The reality of it is there's so many moving parts in SEO and anything can happen where you project something and it just doesn't go well and then everybody loses their jobs. I don't want you to lose your job. Okay, so there's an equation that's pretty standard as far as I know, you know, as long as I've been in SEO, uh, which goes back, wow, 13 years now, uh, pretty accepted equation. So it's click-through rate times search volume times the conversion rate from organic search. That's what you can expect um, that you can get if you rank better for a given keyword, right? And so if you're in e-commerce, you just add average order value to that as well, and now you have a dollar figure of what can be expected from your organic search effort. All right, so the way you compute this, the first thing you want to do, and this is the main caveat that I want to offer here, download your CTR data from Google Search Console. Don't use an anecdotal CTR that you read in a blog post because it's not necessarily how your website is performing. So you want to download CTR from Google Search Console, limiting it specifically to your unbranded terms. So the filter that you put in GSE uh, on query, make sure you're just like, you know, saying does not contain whatever your brand is, right? And then once you've got that in Excel, you want to round the rankings because, you know, the rankings that come out of GSC are going to be decimal points. That's not really valuable in this context. So what we're going to do is basically round it to whatever the number is. Then do a pivot on those rankings versus the average of the CTR. So now what you're going to get is like, you know, for position one, you're getting an average of, let's say, 40%, right? And then so on for the remainder. And you want to limit that to the top 10. So another thing that you want to do is then compare to the CTR curve for your industry. So advanced web ranking dot com slash CTR study, they show you what the uh, click-through rate curves are looking like across a variety of different industries. You can pull that for the last month or whichever month that you care about and then compare that to what you're seeing so you can get a sense of like, okay, how are other people performing? Are we doing better with our website? Are we doing worse? And that then gives you an opportunity to determine is there more opportunity for us to improve by adjusting our uh, metadata and so on. So at this point, you want to pull keywords that you don't rank in the top 10 for. So use a tool like SEMrush or any of the other tools out there that can give you that data. Search metrics also comes to mind. Then segment those keywords down to the ones that are going to have a specific commercial intent. Your awareness keywords aren't going to be super valuable here unless your only goal is traffic. But if we care about what the business uh, result is going to be from these efforts, then you're going to want to limit it to those key keywords that have that more commercial intent. At that point, once you've got your keyword set, aggregate those into what the search volume is for those sites. So let's say you've got 50 keywords and the aggregate search volume is 100,000. That's the value that you're going to use for computing your um, projections. Then go down that whole model that you built, that whole CTR curve. So for number one position, like I said, it might be 40%. Multiply that, build that whole equation that we just talked about using that search volume number and then also that uh, conversion rate specifically from organic search. You don't want the whole site from all channel conversion rate. You specifically want it from organic search. And at that point, you now have a range for what your projections would be. So based on getting every keyword in the top 10, you have a number which is X, everything in, in the, uh, to the number one position, you have a number which is Y. So that is now your 
projected range. And you know, I do want to be careful here, make sure that you're being very conservative with the numbers that you're sharing. You know, make a determination using perhaps uh, keyword difficulty to determine how many keywords you actually may expect to get into the top 10 and then use that as your searing pan to determine what your projections are going to be. That's all I got for today. Hope it helps. See you next time.